Hey, well today we're working on the 92 Comanche. Uh, I had that this shipped here, oh my, like 15 years ago from New Mexico. Completely corrosion free. Um, but, you know, I got into it and then I saw bling, something shiny, boats. And there it sat covered, covered up for 15 years. But I'm into it now. Um, it needs... An exhaust pipe from the muffler back. Guess what? Nobody makes them. Not available. So I went over to Surplus City yesterday and picked up all the required components, bends, straight pipe, that I'm going to need uh, to, to build this exhaust system. Now, when you lay this up, Go ahead and install all your pieces, spin them around to where you need, get the right angle, and then clamp it. Okay, the clamps aren't going to remain. They're on there temporarily. You tighten them that down just enough that you can't twist it by hand. That way when you, and make alignment marks with a magic marker in case you bump something or whatever, and it does move, you can line it back up. But I'm using a Hobart 220, um, 190 amp, 220 volt, and we're welding a .074714 gauge. Uh, it's going to be a lap weld, and I'm not using the CO2 because it's windy today. So we're using um, core. We're using core flux wire. And at a setting of uh, 3 for the amperage, voltage 2, and about 45 on the feed. So all the pieces aren't on here yet. There's still two or three more pieces to go on. But I'm going to go this far, put it back in, make sure it still aligns, and then... Um, Add the other pieces, clamp those, bring it out here, tack weld it, put it back up in there, and when it's done, we'll go ahead and weld the rest of the circumference on each joint. So that's where we are right now. The Jeep. 